Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am going to be reviewing um, a John Sint whistle, widely regarded as one of the best whistles out there. They're about $200 I think. Um, I paid £150 for this second hand. They kind of go for more second hand than they do new, but there is a three to five year waiting list and I'm not even sure whether he's retired. I, someone told me he'd retired. Anyway. I don't know. This is my John Sint whistle. Um, it's an E flat whistle, so I'm going to show you some close ups of it first, and then I'm going to play a few songs so you can hear how it sounds. Now, this particular whistle is a brass whistle. Um, you can see that the brass mouthpiece here is also tunable, or well, the whistle itself is tunable because the mouthpiece slides on and off. That's a little bit of grease there, folks. Um, you do need to apply some sort of grease to the bore here to ensure that it slides easily in and out of the mouthpiece so that your whistle remains tunable, but this is the mouthpiece. Now, as you can see, it is beautifully made, nicely finished, very good quality piece of work, very similar look to the Kalani whistles that I've shown you recently. In fact, I do have an E-flat Kalani whistle here. Uh, this is the Kalani and this is the John Sint. So you can see um, very similar design. There are differences to the mouthpiece. You can see the shape of the John Sint is a little squarer on top, and the shape of the Kalani whistle here is a little bit more rounded. The same applies for the um, finish. Again, the squarer finish on the John Sint, the more rounded finish on the Kalani. But we are here for John Sint. So if we look at the rim here, you'll see there is a little ridge to give you an idea of how much you've moved the whistle in or out for tuning. I could do with a bit more grease on this, it's quite stiff, but the good thing is is that the whistle head doesn't fall off or fly off when you're trying to expel air from the whistle. It does have an E flat sign scratched on the front here, um, ingrained, and also the JS Johnson initial at the top here on the whistle as well. The body itself is also brass. As you can see, it's tarnished a little bit. I might get a cloth to polish this, but the holes are nice. They're easy to half hole with, which is good. Um, nice spacing, easy size. As I said, it's an E-flat whistle, so it's not particularly difficult to play because it's a small whistle. Now, it's a standard bore. Um, it's not a tapered bore, so it means it's straight. It's quite heavy on the mouthpiece end, but not noticeably so. It does need a little bit of warming up to get started, but to be fair, it sounds a lot better than I was expecting it to. Um, I'm actually really impressed with it. So I'm going to play two tunes for you. I'm going to play Dunmore Lassies, which is a little bit slower, around 110 beats per minute. And um, I'm also going to play The Fool's Jig. Both of these tunes I played uh, last week on the channel, so you guys can find them. Um, I'll, I'll put links to these up at the end of the video so you can find these and play these yourselves if you like the sound of them.
So as you can hear, it's got this beautiful, nice chirpy little tone to it, and that is partly because of the key of the whistle. It's an E flat, so it's a chirpy little uh, <laughs> sounding instrument anyway. But this particular brand, this make by um, John Sint does have a nice rounded tone to it, but that beautiful clear-cut chirpy little sound. I'll give you a quick run through the octaves um, just to give you an idea of how this baby sounds. Now the top note for me is really quite hard to get. Um, it's a little bit shrill on the old ears. Um, not quite in tune, but it may just be a different fingering position. Um, obviously, I didn't get any information with the whistle because it came second hand, so I would have to check online to see if I could find um, different finger positions to get the top note. As for the sort of cross fingering, it sounds pretty much as strong as the other notes on the whistle, which is great. It's got quite a good volume on its bass note, its bell note. appears to be fine for half holing. Great for ornaments and slides as well. So yeah, in general, I am very impressed with this whistle. I mean, it doesn't clog. That is a good thing. I've played this a fair bit now and it doesn't seem to clog very often, no more so than any other whistle. Um, the, the instructions are similar to the Kalani though, to wash it with hot soapy water. Um, and that actually helps with the clogging problems anyway. So feels quite sturdy and solid. Not like you're gonna break it, although I am wary because it cost me 150 pounds. I don't wanna sit on it. So um, the lady who sold it to me actually sent me this case, which is incredible. So I am keeping this baby locked away in here so I don't crush it and kill it. <laughs> Definitely one I can recommend if you are on the waiting list, then I congratulate you. If you're not and you do want one of these, there are a few floating around secondhand at the moment. Do have a look on things like eBay, on the session, they have discussion forums there. Um, also on any of the Facebook groups such as Tin Whistle, Penny Whistle Resource, um, the Irish Low Whistle. Yeah, sometimes even on my Facebook page, um, people will list things for sale and I am Tin Whistle Tunes and Tabs or Tin Whistle TNT. You can find uh, links to all my social media in the descriptions below. So yeah, that is my quick overview and review of the John Sink Whistle. I like it. I wasn't expecting to like it because... <sighs> I don't know, I've seemed to like whistles that other people don't. <laughs> it's got a good volume, so you could definitely play it in amongst other whistles um, and other instruments and you would still be heard. The tuning sounds great. Um, it's nice and clear. It's easy to jump into the second octave and it's a cracking little whistle. You can feel the quality, you can see the quality and you can hear the quality. So I really like it. So that is it from me. A thumbs up all round. If you like this video, then let me know. Like, subscribe, share, hit the bell notification button down here somewhere. Um, and don't forget to check me out on Coffee and Patreon as well. This um, is where you guys can help support me further. That's awesome. Um, yeah, if you are thinking of buying a new whistle and you're, uh, you need some reviews, then check out some of my other videos. I'll put my reviews here. Um, the two songs that I played in this video will also be here and another awesome video here because, well, why not? <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy whistling, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!